everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Natalie and my channel is all about luxury, vintage, fashion, and styling. So if you're interested in any of those, please consider hitting the subscribe button below. And today I'm gonna be talking all about the Bottega Veneta Teen Jody bag and comparing it to the vintage version. So I have been wanting to get my hands on the Jody Teen bag for so long now. And I finally have it here to show you. This is a loan from Rebag, so it's not mine to keep, but I love being able to kind of borrow these bags, try them out and give you guys my honest opinions about them. This is not sponsored by any means. I don't have to say anything about these bags, but I just love like getting to feel the bags, try them on and kind of give you guys my opinion because obviously I am handbag crazy. <laughs> I've tried so many bags. So I love just like trying new styles and versions and seeing what I like and dislike. And I hope you guys can get some value out of this. So this is the Teen Jody size. So it's in between, there's the like mini one, which is like pretty mini. I mean, it's a handheld one for sure. Um, this is like the middle size, the teen, and then there's the small size, which I'll pop a picture up on the screen of a small size. I actually went to the Bottega store the other day to try that on just so I could kind of feel the comparison between the two and kind of give you guys a better idea of sizing. So you can see that one on my frame. I'm 5'3 for reference, so I'm pretty petite, which is why I felt like the teen would probably be the best size for someone of my size. And I absolutely love this bag. I feel like size-wise, it really holds, you know, pretty much everything you would need for like day to day. Now it's not gonna hold a, like maybe an iPad could fit in there. It's not gonna hold like a laptop or anything. Although I wouldn't necessarily say I would put that in the bigger one as well, even if it fits. The big one already feels pretty heavy to me. So I feel like overloading that bag would kind of one, be way too big if it was stuffed out and kind of lose that like slouchy feeling and to be way heavy because it's already you know fully leather so it's leather on the outside and leather on the inside so it is a pretty like substantial bag this size isn't as heavy i don't feel like it's super super heavy but if you stuff it it definitely would get heavy so just something to keep in mind if you do have like a sensitive shoulder or you plan on feeling like you'd be wearing this bag all day over the shoulder like that something to consider it is a weightier bag just kind of compared to other ones because of that leather lining and all the leather used for it. Um, this is the inside, it's stamped with the Bottega Veneta and it's just one large interior, no uh, pockets in here at all. And it's tonal leather lined. But like I said, it holds all your essentials, no problem. You would never have to be like downsizing necessarily to go into this bag. So that's what I love about it, it's a great size. Obviously the knotted detail is beautiful. That's not on the vintage versions. And Bottega leather honestly is so soft and supple. I love it. It's it's just incredible. And over time, it just gets better, gets slouchier and like lived in. And I feel like the shapes really shine once they have some wear to them. So they feel a little bit like stiffer at the stores when you're trying them on. They don't look as slouchy. And then over time, they kind of get more and more slouchier. So the number one question I have gotten asked about this Teen Jody is does it fit on the shoulder? Cause there's a lot of kind of controversy that the teen doesn't fit, but the small does. So let me show you on and then I'm gonna show cutaways as well. So it does fit on my shoulder. Again, I am on the petite side. I'm 5'3 and just kind of like a smaller frame. But for me, I have plenty of room here. Now, if I was wearing chunky knits in like the winter time or a big coat, this would be tight. So it is something to think about. Or if you have a larger frame, you may want a little bit more space and there is more of a shoulder drop on the small size. So something to keep in mind. But for me, I can put this over my shoulder, no problem, as you can see. So it does fit over the shoulder. It just is like a matter of preference, I guess. But I think it's perfect. And here's the vintage one that I have just to compare. And size wise, let me show you. This one looks, the vintage looks a little bit deeper this way. However, these were sewn like very thin width wise. So there's not as much width as there is on the newer versions. I would say they hold pretty equivalently to both. So it's just more of a matter of preference. 
shoulder drops about the same on this one too and this is like the smaller of the two vintage sizes you'll find that vintage also has a couple different sizes so this is like the smaller of like the two most common ones you'll find so that's the two comparison like i said i say they're pretty comparable as far as what they would fit you can see here let me come up close the weaving is smaller on the vintage ones than the new ones and also the difference is you can see on the side it has this kind of like braided trim here which the new ones do not have and then this doesn't have the knot so the zipper pulls are also different you can see the zipper pull on this one is a solid gold and this one has the little bit of a leather pull tab so that's the main differences also the vintage ones are lined in suede so it does make it and it also has a back zip pocket so I would say the vintage one is lighter than the new one just because that suede lining versus the full leather interior makes it a little bit lighter so something else to consider too but otherwise they're both beautiful options if I had to pick one I mean obviously I own the vintage version you guys know I love vintage and I think Bottega leathers over time they just get even better so I love the vintage. It's like already worn in and beautiful and soft and supple. So I think it's still a great option to buy. If you're looking to buy vintage, the prices are still pretty reasonable. They have gone over, up over the years as Bottega has gotten more popular, but you can still find amazing prices. You can still find them under a thousand. So I think they are a great buy if you're looking to kind of like have some Bottega on a budget. Now this bag, definitely on the pricey side of luxury bags. I mean, it's not like Chanel or Hermes pricing, but pretty pricey for like a understated bag. However, I would say if it's something that you've been thinking about for a long time, you had the financial means to purchase a Bottega bag, I will say the quality is beautiful. Now, will these day classics? I do think it's a classic bag. As we see, it's been going for a long time, just an updated version. I think because it's subtle, less logos, it's kind of like an if you know, you know bag. I think that it'll stay classic um, over time. So if it is a bag you're considering, I would say just stick to like a neutral, just because I feel like you'll get the most use out of it and the most longevity of the bag. So stick to a neutral and kind of like look at what you have in your closet and what you feel like would be like a great color for you because you know you'd want to be wearing it a lot obviously if you're gonna be spending the money on it but yeah I will link if I can find any great pre-loved versions that are gonna be less expensive I do think pre-loved is a great route to go if you're looking to buy Bottega there's a lot on the market and you can find them for a pretty good price like this one from Rebag um, was under retail and I mean it's pretty much in perfect condition there's like a tiny bit of little scuffs right around where the zipper pull is, but otherwise it's a beautiful condition. So definitely look to buy pre-loved. If you are looking to buy Bottega, like I said, I will link any of some good ones I can find down in the description. I'll look and link different sizes as well for you because I do think the small, which is the bigger one, and the mini one are also great options to buy as well. So those will be down if I can find great vintage ones that are available as well those will be all down in the description boxes for you guys if you have any questions you can put them down in the comments i'll be sure to respond and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like comment and subscribe for more handbag content and until next time take care bye